Welcome to a lesson on the definition of a linear equation in two variables. If a, b, and c are real numbers with a and b not equal to zero, then the equation ax plus by equals c is a linear equation in two variables, x and y. So if an equation fits this form, it is a linear equation. Where again, a, b, and c must be real numbers. a and b both can't be zero, and the variables, in this case x and y, must be raised to the first power. A solution to a linear equation is any ordered pair x comma y that satisfies the linear equation. So if I consider the equation x plus y equals six, the ordered pair two comma four, where x is two and y is four, is a solution since two plus four equals six is true. However, if we consider the ordered pair one comma four, where x is one and y is four, this ordered pair is not a solution because one plus four doesn't equal six. And there are an infinite number of ordered pair solutions to a linear equation. The graph of the set of ordered pair solutions form a line on the coordinate plane. Let's take a look at an example of this. Let's consider the equation x plus y equals three. When trying to determine ordered pair solutions for a linear equation, it can be helpful to organize the information in a table as shown here on the left. Each rule in the table represents an ordered pair solution since x plus y is equal to three. Notice how for the first row, x is four and y is negative one, and below we can see four plus negative one equals three is true. For the second row, two comma one is a solution since two plus one equals three is true. For the third row, zero comma three is a solution because zero plus three is three. For the fourth row, negative two comma five is a solution since negative two plus five equals three is true. And in the fifth row, negative four comma seven is a solution, since negative four plus seven equals three is true. And now if we graph these five ordered pairs on the coordinate plane, which I've already done here in red, notice how we can draw a line passing through all five points. And therefore, this blue line is the graph of the equation x plus y equals three. The ordered pair for every point on this line represents a solution to the given equation. And since there's an infinite number of points on any line, there are an infinite number of solutions to a linear equation in two variables. And now let's talk about the different forms of linear equations. The first form mentioned in the definition is standard form, which is the form ax plus by equals c. There's also general form, where one side of the equation is equal to zero. Then there's sloped intercept form, which is the form y equals mx plus b where again, x and y are the variables. In this form though, m is the slope of the line and b is the vertical intercept. And there's also point slope form, which is the form y minus y sub one equals m times the quantity x minus x sub one. In this form, m is the slope and x sub one comma y sub one is one point on the graph of the line. Before we go, let's look at some examples of equations in these four forms. At the top, we have three examples of equations in standard form. Notice the third equation is x equals six. Because there's no y term, this means b, the coefficient of y, would be zero, which is allowed. We just can't have a and b equal to zero, which should make sense because if we did, we wouldn't have any variables in the equation. Next, we have three examples of equations in general form, where one side of the equation is equal to zero. Notice for the third equation here, there is no x term this time, which means a is equal to zero. Next, we have three equations in sloped intercept form, which again is the form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope of the line and b is the vertical intercept. Notice how for this last equation, we have y equals negative two, which means m, the slope, would be zero because there's no x term. We could also say this equation is in standard form, where a, the coefficient of x, is zero. And then finally, we have two examples of equations in point slope form, where again in this form, m is the slope, and x sub one comma y sub one is a point on the graph of the line. In this unit, we will be working with linear equations of two variables in all of these forms. I hope you found this helpful.